ओं सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओं सहना सहनौुन सह वीर कहे तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुमा वहे ये ओं शाति 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 ज्ञानंदमय देव निर्मलस्फटिकाकृति आधार सर्व हयग्रीव उपास्मे ओं हयग्रीवाय नम ओं वल्लभा समेत श्री महागणाधिपत नम सो वी वर् लुकिंग अट दि अथ शब्द विचार इन दिस आलरे वी हव सीन लाट आफ आर्ग्युमेंट सो इन दिस in the previous class we were at this stage where the puro pakshi is saying you are saying that one will have brahma jignasa only one if uh, if somebody has sadhana chatushtaya right but for that he is saying that not everybody who is studying vedanta it can be said that they have sadhana chatushtaya sampatti correct they are all not qualified according to you then but even those who do not have these qualifications they study the shastra so how can you say that somebody will have brahma jignasa only if they have sadhana chatushtaya so uh, For that only the Siddhanti is saying, "Yadya pi asya yetani sadhani na santi, so pi Brahma jigya jigya sati iti idanim pratyaksham, tatapi tasya sa Brahma jigya sa na dridha kintu manda eva." So now the author is saying that somebody may have some curiosity to study about Brahman, correct? Or somebody may study it just as a philosophy. in fact the word philosophy itself we don't use for our darshanas uh, because philosophy has a different connotation in the west so it is better not to use the words like philosophy or advaita philosophy and all is not really proper usage so our vedanta is a vedanta darshana where one sees the reality and one is transformed also by that seeing correct so it is not any philosophy or anything where the philosophers never arrive at any conclusion in fact correct and also they don't have any pramana they don't have any pratishtha because they all use some tarka but the problem is tarka itself does not have any pratishtha means tarka cannot arrive at the initial assumptions correct tarka can take you from one premise to another if you have some initial assumptions you can use tarka and then deduct something saying that this must be then true but who will give you that initial what we call as even in science we have correct axioms so who will give the axiom in fact some scientific axioms are very counter intuitive correct even scientists accept them only because the theory which is based on the axiom has been experimentally validated because see scientists also start with many axioms and build some theory some hypothesis as they call it initially and then the hypothesis itself should be falsifiable and also you should be able to design experiments to either prove or disprove the hypothesis and the hypothesis has to make some predictions correct according to your hypothesis you are making certain predictions those are the things which should be testable by experiments and if it is proved by experiment then the hypothesis also is ac accepted as a theory and the axioms which are the starting point of that theory are also accepted as valid even though the axioms themselves cannot be directly proven for example the relativity theory let us take it has a very uh, very counter intuitive let us say 
uh, axiom. What is that? The speed of the light is constant regardless of the speed at which you are traveling. Correct? This is the axiom to start with. The special theory of relativity says that the speed of light is always constant irrespective of the velocity of the observer, which is not true in our regular experience. Correct? Because if you are traveling in a train and another traveling, another train is coming in the same direction as, as you are traveling and if if both of you are at the same speed, it looks as though the other train is stationary. Or if it goes the other direction, it looks very fast because your speed also is there. That train speed is in the other direction means it is both these velocities. It is as though it is moving with, with both, correct? So the relative motion is our experience. But the axiom for special theory of relativity is totally opposed to that, correct? Because it says speed of light is a constant, irrespective of the speed at which you are traveling. So it starts with that axiom, then it proceeds from there. Why I am saying this is, you should have starting point. The starting point itself is not there for philosophies. Or it is starting point is somebody's kapola kalpita, correct? Somebody's assumption or imagination is the starting point and then they have some system based on that, okay? That is philosophy. Vedanta is not like that because we say that Vedanta is a pramana for us. So that is where it differs. So the Shastra, the Shruti pramana is the basis and then we can use Shruti Sammata Tarka to further assimilate whatever the Shruti is revealing to us. So, Shruti is a Pramanam and whatever it reveals only, we take it as Jnanam. Of course, somebody can have simply a curiosity that I want to know what the Veda says. And they can study also what Vedanta says. Or they can do academic study. They are getting an MA. MA in Indian philosophy, something like that, they study Vedanta also. So for all those people, we cannot say they have real Brahma Jignasa in the way a Mumukshu has. For a Mumukshu, it is very personal. Because I feel that I am a samsari, but I really seek the limitless happiness. And that limitless happiness cannot be started right, newly. I cannot get it by going somewhere. I cannot get it in future. If it is really limitless, it has to be there here and now. And it cannot be separate from me also. That is the vision. And that vision also is given by the Shruti. So, that is the vision which transforms yourself. So unless there is a self-transformation, we cannot say that the Brahma Jignasa has culminated in something useful. That's why here our author is saying, even though we see people study, correct? People can study Vedanta, but all of them do not have Dridhi Brahma Jignasa like that. Now he is making a difference here. They have Manda Jignasa which may not really lead to any jnana nishta or jnana phalam they will not get. They may still know that Vedanta is saying this. Knowing like that is not any useful. Understand that. So only the one who has a sadhana chatushteya sampatti, that person only gets the real Brahma Jignasa or the Dhrida Brahma Jignasa we have to say. And so that is very important because Without the sadhana chatushtaya, the Brahma Jignasa itself really is not, cannot be there in the proper manner. It is like studying Paniya Sutra without knowing the Maheshwara Sutras. Okay, so, uh, so unless the this sadhana chatushtaya is there, Brahma ji, real Brahma Jignasa cannot be there. Now up to this we saw. Tad Uditaha Sahiyo Yed Anantara Iti Nyaya Ghatasya 
ದಂಡ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಜನ್ಯತ್ವೇನ ದಂಡ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಆನಂತರ್ಯ ದರ್ಶನಾಚ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ಇವನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನ್ಯಾಯ ತದ್ ತದ್ ಉದಿತ ಸಹಿ ಯೋ ಏದನಂತರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಫ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ದ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಮ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಅನ್ವಯ ವ್ಯತಿರೇಕ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ದಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅನ್ವಯ ವ್ಯತಿರೇಕ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇವನ್ ದಂಡ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ದ ದಂಡ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ದ ಕುಲಾಲ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಅ ಪಾಟ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ರೆವಲ್ಯೂಷನರಿ ಮೂ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಆಫ್ ದ ವೀಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ದನ್ ಯು ರೊಟೇಟ್ ದ ರೊಟೇಷನಲ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಶೇಪ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ರೊಟೇಷನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಶೇಪ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಸೇ ಸಾಧನ ಚತುಷ್ಟಯ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸ ನೌ ದ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಈ ಸೇಸ್ ನನು ಇಚ್ಛಾ ಯಾಹ ದೃಢತ್ವ ನಾಮ ಇಷ್ಯಮಾನ ವಿಷಯ ಪ್ರವರ್ತಕತ್ವ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡು ಯು ಸೇ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೃಢತ್ವ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಟು ನೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದೃಢ ದೃಢ ಇಚ್ಛಾ means whatever you are desiring correct right? ishyamana vishaya is there the whatever object of your desire towards that you have to have some pravritti correct right? you have to make some effort to gain whatever you are desire, desiring then only we can say that you have drida itsa correct right? so for example he is giving kashyam tu maranan muktihi ityadi shastrat sarvaha api ಆಸ್ತಿ ಕಾಶಿ ಜಿಗಮಿಷ್ಯತಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಟು ಕಾಶಿ ದೇರ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೈ ದೆನ್ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಯು ದ ತಾರಕ ಮಂತ್ರ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಸೋ ದ ಪುರಾಣ ಸೇ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಬೈ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಉಪದೇಶ ಒನ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಡೈ ಇನ್ ಕಾಶಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ the astikas in our country even today many people go and live in kashi just to die there are separate homes for that in kashi okay <laughs> where all this sometimes terminally terminally ill people are very old people they go and live there just that because they want to die in kashi in fact even in gujarati also there is a saying so surat nu chaman kashi nu maran like that our my gujarati friends used to say in our gurukulam lot of gujarati brahmacharis were there so surat nu chaman means what one should eat the the feast in surat so for eating surat is very famous in gujarat and for dying you have to go to kashi even in gujarat we say that correct so any astika who wants to go to kashi or who hears this from the shastra correct maranat mukti hi iti ityadi shastra sarva api astika kashim jigamishati means they all desire to go to kashi so they will have the desire to go to kashi every astika would like to go to kashi but what kintu yasya dridha kashi jigamisha saeva kashim gachati ಎಸ್ಯತು ಅದೃಢ ಸ ಗಮಿಷ್ಯತಿ ಇತ್ಯೇವ ಸರ್ವದ ಮನ್ಯತೆ ನ ತು ಗತಿ ದರ್ಶನ ಸೊ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡು ವಿ ನೋ ಈ ಸೇಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಮೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಟು ಕಾಶಿ ಬಟ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ದ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಟು ಕಾಶಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬುಕ್ ಅ ಟಿಕೆಟ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ವಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಾಶಿ ಯಾತ್ರ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ so unless you have the dridha icha that i want to go to kashi you will not start your journey actually the one who has started has 
has firm desire, you can say, Dridha Itcha. Otherwise, somebody can keep saying, I want to go to Kashi. At least, I want to die in, in Kashi. Like that, one can keep on saying without making any effort to go to Kashi. They will finally die only in Tenambatai somewhere. Okay, let us say. So, they never go out of their comfort zone or their home, wherever they are. Some people are like that. They will just keep saying something without making the effort. Correct? So, that, so yes, you Adrida, that's what I said here, for whom this desire is not firm, he keeps only saying or thinking about it. Correct? So, Gamishyami Ityeva Sarvada Manyate. So, he keeps saying or he keeps thinking that I will go there one day. But he never goes. Natu Gachati Iti Darshana. But he doesn't go. So, the Dridha, one who takes up the effort, has the Dridha Nishtaya. So, the Puru Prakshi is saying, so anybody who then studies actually the Vedanta, you have to consider that person as Dridha Nishtaya or Dridha Icha. Okay, that is his point here. What the Puro Pakshi is trying to point out is somebody, if, if they have already taken the effort to study, then you cannot say they have Manda Jignasa. If you have started taking the effort, you have to say that person has Drida Icha only. In this case, when we say Brahma Jignasa, it is the desire to know Brahman is Drida for them. Even if he goes to a college to attend a class on Indian philosophy, and studies Vedanta, then you have to say he has Dhrida Nishtaya or Dhrida Icha, Brahma Jignasa, or he does PhD and becomes a great scholar, but may not have Sadhana Chatushtaya. But when you say he does not have Dhrida Icha or Dhrida Jignasa, so that is his point here. The Puro Pakshi is saying if once one makes an effort, then you have to consider that that person has Dhrida Jignasa. So you are think, saying that only the one who has Sadhana Tashutaya can have Dhrida Jignasa is not correct. They say one who makes an effort to know Brahman, that person has Dhrida Jignasa. That person may have Sadhana Tashutaya, may not have. Okay, that is his point here. So what further what? So Tathacha, Yasya, Yasya, Ishyamana Vishaye Pravrittihi Sa Dridhaicha Ityevam Svikartavyam. So, the one who has who makes some Pravritti, correct? Who engages in some effort, some action with reference to the thing he desires to obtain, for him, you have to say that he has firm desire, that you have to accept. So, further what Idanimcha Bahavaha Purushaha Vina Yeva Veda Vedanga Adhenam Vina Yeva Sadhana Tatushta Sampatim Vina Yeva Chamimam Sadi Shastra Adhenam Samskrita Bhasha Parignana Matra Deva Brahma Mimam Sayam Pravritta Drishyante Iti Okay uh, Ami it's not very clear here. Ami Sham, I think. Okay. Dhrida Jignasa, Brahma Jignasa, Vidyate Eva Iti Vaktavyam. So that's what whatever I explained he is saying here. Because therefore, here we see that many people, without having any, without having done any Veda Adhyayanam or Vedanga Adhyayana, and they don't have any Sadhana Tatushtaya also, and they have not studied Puru Vimams also. Okay. So, Vinaiva Veda Vedanga Adhyayanam, Vinaiva Sadhana Chatushtaya Sampatim, Vinaiva Cha Mimam Sadhi Shastra Adhyayanam. So, none of this is there with them. All three are not there, but they have Sanskrit Jnanam, let us say. Sanskrit Bhasha Parijnana Matra Deva Brahma Mimam Sayam Pravritta Drishyante Iti. So, we see that they are all engaged in the activity of Brahma Mimamsa, they are analyzing Brahman, they are studying Brahman. Therefore, what? Dhrida Brahma Jignasa Vidyate Eva Iti. So, they all have, you have to say Dhrida Brahma Jignasa because they have already started making effort with reference to that. 
देर फोर हि से कथम साधन संपत्ते अन्दिजिज्ञासा प्रति अन्वयव्यतिरेक व्याप्ति व्याप्ति सिद्धम हेतुत्व सो दट वाट हिस् नौ से सी ऐ हव नौ शोन यू दट ईवन द वन हू डस् नाट हव साधन चतुष्टया कैन हव दृढ़ जिज्ञास ब्रह्म जिज्ञास बट यू आर् से ओनि द वन हू हव साधन चतुष्टया कैन हव दृढ़ ब्रह्म जिज्ञास means by anve vetireka you have to prove that correct what you have to prove if sadhana chatushtaya is there then only drida brahma jignasa is there if sadhana chatushtaya is not there then drida brahma jignasa should not be there correct anveya means both are there together so invariable concomitants when we say even in that is also called vyapti in inference in our anumana means two things are there always together if one thing if the cause is not there the effect also cannot be there that is the vetireka part the anveya part is if fire is there then only smoke can be there sometimes fire can be there without smoke also that is different but whenever there is smoke there has to be fire correct that is how we have to look at it wherever there is smoke there has to be fire and the vetireka is other way around wherever there is no fire there cannot be smoke therefore whenever you see smoke you can say there is fire that's how we established the anveya vetireka anveya will be in one direction vetireka will be in the other direction correct so like that if you say wherever brahma jignasa is there there or dridha brahma jignasa is there there sadhana chatushtaya has to be there that means the vetireka will be what wherever there is no sadhana chatushtaya there cannot be any dridha brahma jignasa but now i have shown you that even when sadhana chatushtaya is not there people can have dridha brahma jignasa because i say that whoever actually makes an effort with reference to the object of their desire they all have firm desire or dridha jignasa or dridha ichcha jignasa also is a jnatum ichcha correct so what do you say for this this is the uh, this is what the purva pakshi has now given now so iti ched uchyate so if you say like this this is what is said with reference to that what ichcha yaha dridhatvam nama na ishya mana vishaya pravartakatvam <laughs> so now we don't accept your your definition of dridha ichcha so if you say if a, if a desire is firm that doesn't mean that just because somebody is making an effort towards their object of desire that they have firm desire so when do we say that kintu ishya mana vishaya prapti paryantatvam <laughs> so it should be the desire which holds till you attain whatever you want it is not that you have started making effort it's not enough if the desire has to how it has to lead you so that you make enough effort or the right effort in fact we have to say because even once you have desire you should, and even let us say you don't have certain qualifications to fulfill your desire then the desire itself will make you to even gain those qualifications first correct and then you will you will again put in the proper effort to gain whatever you require like that that is the desire we say which is firm desire or dridha ichcha means it has to be there till the end till the time you achieve your end correct if i have to say correctly so vishaya prapti paryantatvam that is what is said ishyamana vishaya prapti paryantatvam means what till the time the desired object is gained whatever desire is is there that is the drida ichcha ichcha hi vishaya siddhau nivartate tad asiddhau tu naiva nivartate so the desire can go only 
once you have attained whatever you want to attain, correct? Your object of desire. If you have not attained it, that desire cannot, it cannot be fulfilled or it cannot go. It has to be there. Tathacha yasya brahma jignyasa brahma jnana prapti pariyanta brahma jnane satyeva nivartate natu tasmin asati sayeva dhrida brahma jignyasa 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 van iti ujjyate. Okay. So, similarly what? The one who has Brahma Jignasa means that Jignasa has to be there till the time you gain Brahma Jnana. Right? Brahma, Jnani, uh, Brahma Jnana Prapti Paryanta means what? That the desire to know Brahman will go away only once you have known Brahma. Right? Till the time the Brahma Jnana has been attained, that desire has to be there. Means only when the Brahma Jnana is there, Brahma Jnana Satyeva Nivartate, that desire goes away only. After you have gained this Brahma Jnana. But if it is not there, the Brahma Jnana is not there. Natu Tasmin Asati. Okay? When it is not there, Sayeva Dhridap Brahma Jnana Van Iti Uchate. So, the one who has this Jnana till the time he gains this Brahma Jnana alone, for that person only can be called as Dhridap Brahma Jnana Van. Means the one who has firm Brahma Jignasa, firm desire to know Brahman. So, Asya Eva Brahma Jnana Labha. So, for that person alone, Brahma Jnana can be gained by only that person. The gain of Brahma Jnana is possible only for such a person. Yencha Dhridha Brahma Jignasa Sadhana Tatushtayas Sampannasya Eva Bhavati Iti Ritva Dhridha Brahma Jignasa Amprati Sadhana Tatushtaya Sampatte He Asya uh, Asya Yeva Anve Vyatireka Vyapti Siddham Vedutvam. So now we say this Dhridha Brahma Jignasa can only be there for Sadhana Tatushtaya, the one who has the Sadhana Tatushtaya. For, for him only it can be there because without the Sadhana Tatushtaya, one cannot gain, gain Brahma Jnana because that is the required qualification. Okay. So if you really have Dhridha Brahma Jignasa, even if you don't, if you are not qualified, first you will make all efforts to make yourself qualified. That's what I told you because even many people who come to Vedanta, we cannot say everybody has Sadhana Tatushtaya and all, we cannot say. But as a Vedantin, even if you don't have all qualifications, what you start to lead a life of Karma Yoga. Karma Yoga will give you Chitta Shuddhi. And then, even being a Karma Yogi, you have to keep doing this Shravana Manana Nididhyasana. Correct? So, the Shastra Shravana itself will aid you in gaining the Sadhana Tatushtaya. And the, the more Sadhana Tatushtaya you have, the clarity also is going to increase. When you do the Shravana Manana Nididhyasanam, the knowledge which you assimilate will stay with you only if your qualification is there. So it is like each, the each the Sadhana Tatushtaya aids in Brahma Jnanam and the whatever Sakshat Karanam for Brahma Jnanam which is Shravana Manana Nididhyasana, when you engage in that, that will also help you in gaining Sadhana Tatushtaya. Like that, it should be a beneficial cycle. That is okay. But the, the one who has Dhridha Brahma Jignasa only can gain the Sadhana Tatushtaya also. And again, Sadhana Tatushtaya being there only, you can have proper Brahma Jignasa which culminates in you gaining the knowledge. Okay. Otherwise, if you have only Manda Brahma Jignasa means you will not even make effort to really uh, uh, gain all these qualifications. You will say, no, no, this is all too difficult for me. I, I cannot I cannot have all these things. Sitiksha and all I cannot have. Okay. What is Sitiksha? <laughs> Bhashikara in Vivekachudamani says, uh, 
సహనం సర్వదుఖానా ప్రతీకార పూర్వకం చింతా విలాపరహితం సా తితిక్షా నిగధ్యతే భగవాన్ ఇంద గీత మాత్రా స్పర్శాస్తు కౌంతేయ శీతోష్ణ సుఖదుఃఖదాహ ఆగమాపాయినో నిత్యా తాం స్థితిక్ష స్వభారత ఇది స్థితిక్ష అనాల్ ఐ కెనాట్ డూ ఐ కెనాట్ టాలరేట్ ఈవెన్ మస్కిటోస్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ యు ఆర్ సేయింగ్ ఇఫ్ సంబడీ సేస్ లైక్ దాట్ కెన్ యూ సే దట్ హీ హ్యాస్ దృఢ బ్రహ్మ జిజ్ఞాస యు కెనాట్ సో ద వన్ హూ హ్యాస్ దీస్ క్వాలిఫికేషన్స్ ఓన్లీ కెన్ హ్యావ్ దిస్ ప్రాపర్ jignasa which culminates in the jnanam itself that is the point here therefore there is anvay vyatireka siddhi is there for this so we can definitely say that this dridha brahma jignasa is there only when sadhana chatushtaya is there and if sadhana chatushtaya is not there dridha brahma jignasa cannot be there because without sadhana chatushtaya the desire will never culminate and it will never be fulfilled so it will not culminate in you gaining your object of desire therefore this this anvaya vetireka holds is what our author is saying therefore the hetutvam is there that means sadhana chatushtaya is the hetu for dridha brahma jignasa so he he summarizes that i think i am arthah sadhana chatushtaya sampannah eva brahma jignasaya బ్రహ్మ మీమాంసాయాం ప్రవృత్య బ్రహ్మ బ్రహ్మ జ్ఞానం లభతే నూ అన్య సో ద వన్ హూ హ్యాస్ సాధన సృష్టి అలోన్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ హిస్ డిసైర్ టు నో బ్రహ్మన్ హీ డస్ ది విచార బ్రహ్మ విచార బికాస్ బ్రహ్మ మీమాంసా ఇస్ నథింగ్ బట్ విచార అండ్ సో హీ 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 ఎంగేజెస్ ఇన్ దిస్ బ్రహ్మ విచార అండ్ దేర్ ఫోర్ డ్యూ టు ద విచార ఫలం హీ గెయిన్స్ బ్రహ్మ జ్ఞానం ద అదర్స్ కెనాట్ do this atayeva anadhikarinah bahavah adya vedanta shastram uh, bahu adityapi adityapi <laughs> samsarinah shochantah upalabhyante iti <laughs> so therefore he says that's why a lot of people study vedanta nowadays but they are all not qualified for that they are all anadhikaris correct so we do see many anadikaris those who are not qualified study the vedanta shastra and even and they study for a long time and they study many texts they may be scholars but still what samsarinah they are still samsaris they have not really gained brahma gnana they have studied they have scholarship that's all we can say so they are still samsaris and they have shochanti par shochante they are all they are all in saro correct right? only atmavit tarati shokam like narada they will become correct right? narada indri chandogya upanishad go to sanat goes to sanat kumara then sanat kumara asks him what what are all the things you know already then he gives a big list he says i know all the four vedas i know this rasa vidya samadhar vidya he gives a huge list there i know all of this but he says even after knowing all this what aham shochami i am in saro i am saro full and then he also says i have heard atma vid tarati shokam therefore bhagavan you only has to teach me like that this atma vid alone can cross over all sorrow the one who is in sorrow definitely we can say does not have brahma gnanam so he has now established this okay, only little bit is there this topic okay nanu mastu sadhana chatushtaya sampatti pada vakya pramana parijnane sati panditah ఉత్తర మీమాంసాయం ప్రవృత్య స్వత గురు ఉపదేశాద్వా బ్రహ్మజ్ఞానం ప్రాప్యాదేవ సో బట్ ఈవన్ నౌ ద పూర్వపక్షి ఈస్ నాట్ అక్సెప్టింగ్ ఈ సేస్ లెట్ దేర్ నాట్ బి ఎనీ సాధన చదుష్ట సంపత్తి బట్ ద వన్ హూ హ్యాస్ పదవాక్య ప్రమాణ పరిజ్ఞానం మీన్స్ వాట్ హీ నోస్ ఆల్ దిస్ హీ నోస్ వ్యాకరణ శాస్త్ర హీ నోస్ మీమాంస సో హీ నోస్ హౌ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద వర్డ్స్ హీ నోట్స్ హౌ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ sentences 
and he knows what is pramana and nyaya shastra also he knows let us say so the one who knows vyakarana nyaya and and also mimamsa so he is padavakya pramana he has parijnana means oh, he has this jnana parijnana sati having this jnana of all these things panditah the one who is a pandit correct or a scholar can enter into uttara mimamsa can do vichara brahma vichara so uttara mimamsaam pravrittya and having started the study of brahman swataha by himself or guru upadesha or due to the upadesha of his guru gains brahma gnanam he gains brahma gnanam like this the puro pakshi is say and also he says sati sahitye shabda shravana artha gnanam na udeti iti sahasra matram iti okay see also you are saying by hearing the words you are talking about some qualification like sadhana chatushtaya etc correct i am saying anybody who hears the word will understand the meaning correct if you hear a word but still if you say that he does not understand the meaning this is all what okay see one who has the uh, what are some basic intelligence being there if you hear a word you will understand the meaning how can you say he he does not have this brahmagnana if you do shravanam about brahman you should have brahmagnana if you say it is not possible that you should have some special qualification like sadhana drushtaya it is all only sahasa matram he says you are all you are only bluffing <laughs> like this the puro bakshi is saying so sahasa matram iti chet ma evam so it is not like that why sadhana chatushtaya sampatti rahitah uttara mimamsa adhyayana vashad brahmanah yathatmyam naiva janiya yadva paroksham eva ಜಾನೀಯಾಧಿಕಾಧಿಕಾಧಿಕಾಧಿಕಾಧಿಕಾಧಿಕಾಧಿಕಾಧಿಕಾಧಿಕಾಧಿಕಾಧಿಕಾ
So ityadi vakyat purantaradin paroksham eva janati. So by by these words, you learn that Indra has this Vajrayuda, but it is only indirect knowledge. You are not seeing Indra. Like that, you can you will learn Satyam Jnana Manantam Brahma. Ityadi Vakyadapi Brahma iti. So Brahman is Satyam Jnana Manantam. Like that, you will know. But Vedanta is not factual knowledge. That's what I keep telling. Correct? It is not just uh, knowing some facts. Like there are three Shariras, five Koshas, etc. Those facts are important. But they have to be assimilated such that that Brahman is oneself. That has to be assimilated finally. Correct? All these facts have to lead you to that knowledge. And you should be able to assimilate it and own it up. Then only this jnanam has fructified. Correct? Therefore, the one who does not have this sadhana as a as a qualification, at best can know it only indirectly. That is scholarly knowledge. Okay? Also what? Nacha sadhana sampannopi shabdat brahma paroksham eva janiya shabdasya paroksha janana Okay, the other objection is what? Many of these people, I think even Nayayikas, do not accept that Shabda can give Akiroksha Jnanam. Shabda cannot give direct knowledge, they say. Shabda can give only indirect knowledge. So now they are going to the other option. What is that? Even though you are Sadhana Chatushtaya Sampanna, so you have all this fourfold qualification. But from the Shabda, you can only know Brahman as Paroksha. Okay, Shabda Brahma Paroksha Meva Janiya. In fact, Bhamati also says this. So they don't accept Shravana. Shravana itself will give you Jnanam. Bhamati Prakriya does not accept that. They talk about some Parisankhyanam and all that. For the Midhidhyasanam is more important. That's why you have to meditate upon that. Of course, sometimes these arguments can become very, what I would say, theoretical arguments can be there. In practice, everybody has to do everything, <laughs> which is true. <laughs> but even then, I think the Vivarana Sampradaya is, is the one which makes sense. Because even the Nididhyasanam is not independent, correct? Nididhyasanam is recollecting whatever you have heard during Shravana. And even Acharyas like Sureshwara says that repeated Shravanam itself is Nididhyasana. Okay. So Shravanam is the most important thing. Shravanam is the Pramana Vyapara really for us. And if you are qualified, Shravanam itself is good enough. Because words can give direct knowledge we say. Provided the object of your knowledge is available to you. See, if the object itself is remote. See, I sit in Kanyakumari. I have never been to the Himalayas. So some yogi or some swami comes from Uttarkashi and then he is explaining to me Himalayas is like this. It is There are mountains which you have never seen. So they are so high and there are snows. Snow on top of these mountains, etc. He can describe. But since Himalayas is not directly available for me to experience, these words can only give me indirect knowledge. By, but let us say a foreigner comes to India. He has heard a lot about mangoes. Okay, Indian mangoes are the best and all that. And he is very interested to taste mangoes. But he doesn't know what is a mango. He goes to the market, buys different fruits and starts eating. And still but doesn't know he has bought mangoes also. So he has the mango in his hand finally, but he doesn't know it is mango. So he goes somebody and asks, can you tell me which is the mango? <laughs> I am very interested in eating mango. Means what this other person says, whatever you have, this is mango. Correct. So the, the Tattva Masi also is like that. Correct? You are Brahman. <laughs> Brahman, Atma is all the time available. You can never be separate from the Atma. Correct? 
since atma is always available the words which reveal the atma to you can only give you pratyeksha gnanam or aparoksha gnanam correct right? it can never be paroksha gnana in fact so for the qualified person we have to add but <laughs> if you are not qualified for this knowledge it will become paroksha but if you have the qualifications words can give aparoksha gnanam okay so you cannot say uh, that even though you are qualified like you have sadhana chatushtaya the words cannot give aparoksha gnanam but he is saying that the pura pakshi so he says iti uh, vachyam na why because what kevala shabdasya tathatvepi vichara sahakrita shabda shabdaha aparoksha gnanam janayati eva okay he here he is saying vichara sahakrita shabdaha he says the, the words with which you analyze and of course when you analyze the object of your knowledge also has to be available already in such cases you cannot say it, it gives only paroksha gnanam it can give aparoksha gnanam okay okay now further what nacha evam sadhana shunyopi vichara sahakrita shabdat brahma aparo aparoksham prapniyaditi vachyam so next one is what so if you say that if you do vichara and uh, because of the vichara proper vichara shabda can give aparoksha gnanam then he again says then what even the one who does not have sadhana chatushtaya etc sadhana shunya that person also can do vichara then and then he will gain brahma aparoksham means he will gain brahman directly can i say like that means no na vachyam why sadhana shunyasya vichara asambhava the one who does not have sadhana chatushtaya cannot do any vichara okay why because vichara ha hi chitta ekagre sadhya ha so one can do vichara only when you have a focused mind chitta ekagriya the chitta shuddhi and chitta naishalyam we say the chitta naishalyam part is really the chitta ekagra he is talking about chitta shuddhi also is very important unless you have chitta shuddhi even the chitta ekagratvam you cannot come to and only when you have chitta shuddhi and chitta ekagra ekagratvam or ekagriyam we have to say chitta ekagriyam one can do vichara so nahi samadhi rahitasya kamadi bihi vikshipta chittasya vichara sambhavati see here the vichara is not an object which is outside you here the vichara is about oneself that is why the your the state of your mind is so important correct it is about transforming your very identity so that being the case the one who is who is still longing for some desirable objects in the external world and one who is distracted by objects externally how that person can do vichara of the subject because if you are distracted and if you are going after some objects the subject is has to hidden correct there is a avarana will come automatically because any desire implies that you are a wanting person understand that that is why the chitta shuddhi is so important one has to be a master of one's own likes and dislikes why because any like or dislike automatically implies that you are a wanting person a wanting person is limited only then how can you own yourself up as the limitless conscious being satyam jnanam anantam brahma you can never own it up that's why one has to be free one has to have a certain mastery over one's own likes and dislikes then only you are even qualified for this jnana so kamadi vihi vikshipta sittasya vichara vicharaha na sambhavati the na is there here so this is not possible therefore what ata eva brahma mimamsayam 
साधन संपन्न से अधिकार मीमांसा ही विचार सो देर फोर देर फोर ओनली इन विथ रेफर टू ब्रह्म मीमांसा द क्वालिफिकेशन इज देर ओनली फॉर द वन हू हेज दीज फोर फोल्ड क्वालिफिकेशन एंड देर फोर एंड दट इट इज सेट लाइक दैट एंड दट that analysis now the analysis into the qualification itself is important correct the uttam mimamsa hi vichara so in in this manner whatever mimamsa has been talked about and only that mimamsa will lead you to vichara and that vichara will lead you to jnana correct vicharena hi asambhavana nivritti hi okay so by doing vichara only this asamb so when we talk about shravana manana nidhyasana we talk about this uh, pramana sambhavana prameya sambhavana and all that okay see initially you don't know what the pramana itself is revealing what the shruti is revealing about yourself you don't know that goes away in in shravana then still you have to do vichara correct manana because even if shruti says you are brahman how can i be brahman that is the prameya sambhavana so like this different types of asambhavana are there even after pramana and prameya sambhavana and all are gone even then viparita bhavana is there <laughs> that is also a type of asambhavana only because it stops you from gaining this jnana phalam so the viparita bhavana also has to go if it is there so all this nivritti paryantam till the time all these things are gone vichara has to continue it has to be one pointed correct so therefore what nacha mastu uh, brahma aparoksha aparoksham atma sakshatkara syadeva सप्ताह केवलादिति वाच्यम सो द अदर थिंग इज व्हाट व्हाट इज इज ऑल दिस ब्रह्म ब्रह्म एंड अपरोक्ष ज्ञान एटसेट्रा लेट देयर दिस ब्रह्म ज्ञान नीड नॉट बी देयर ओके यू नीड नॉट नो हैव दिस अपरोक्ष ज्ञान ऑफ ब्रह्म बट आत्म साक्षात्कार कैन बी स्टिल देयर एंड इट कैन बी देयर फ्रॉम द वर्ड्स ऑफ द श्रुति लाइक दिस फाइनली द पूर्व पक्षी इज सेइंग so let brahma gnanam need not be there i only want atma sakshatkara self realization is good enough who wants all this brahma gnanam you keep your brahman yourself i want only self realization self knowledge means you cannot say like that why brahma abhinnatvad atmanah <laughs> because atma in reality is not separate from brahman okay bhinnatvepi संसारी आत्म निश्चय निराकरणपूर्वक असंसारी आत्म साक्षात्कार केवल शब्दा असंभवा तभी आवश्यक ये विचार सो आलो इवन इफ यू से ब्रह्मन इज डिफरेंट फ्रम आत्मा करेक्ट दिस इज फॉर इवन विशिष्टाद्वैती एंड द्वैती अंडरस्टैंड दट बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ दम टाक अबउट अ संसारी अवस्था what asamsaritvam also they talk about that you become asamsari that is moksha for them also so everybody has to talk about a samsari avastha or avidya avastha and an asamsari avastha which is the moksha avastha which is the vidya avastha also correct so even for that let us say even if you say that brahman is separate from atma you are talk you are also talk about a samsari and a samsari and samsari atma nischaya has to go away then only the samsari atma sakshatkara can be there so if you say atma sakshatkara is knowing oneself as a samsari it has got nothing to do with brahman even if you say like that even that cannot come only by just kevala shabda shabda he says just by listening unless you have qualification understand that the sadhana tajushtaya has to be there even for that is our point so these qualifications chitta aikagriyam chitta shuddhi etc has to be there just kevala shabdat even the atma sakshatkara you are talking about that is also not possible 
So even for that, you have to do vichara, and to do vichara, you should have qualifications. That is the point he is making. So vichara ha avashya kaha eva. So vichara is required even for the atma sakshatkara. You talk about evam sadhana sampatti abhavena atma vichara abhava deva veda vedanta. Uh, no, ve, veda antya abha abhasanam bahunam idanim samsari atma nishtaya abhavaha okay, idanim asamsari atma nishtaya abhavaha okay so in this manner what he is saying sadhana sampatti abha abhavena so those who do not have sadhana satukhaya and what? Atma vichara abhava. They cannot do atma vichara. And also Veda antya abhasanam. For Vedan Vedanti abhasanam, we can say. Correct? Veda antya abhasanam. Does it make sense? Okay. Abhasa means basically distortion. Okay. So Vedanti Abhasanam also we can take or Veda Anti Abhasanam is better, I think. Basically, the end portion of whatever the Vedanta is saying, they do not understand correctly. There is only Abhasa is there. Like this, we see many people. Bahunam Idanim Asamsari Atmanishtaya Abhava. So for all of them, they don't consider themselves as Asamsari. They are all still Aham Shochami case only, correct? I mean sorrow. So that is what happens. Therefore, this vichara is important for the vichara. The sadhana sushtaya sampati is important. So therefore, what yeta vata sadhana sampati anantarya vachyam atashabdha samar, samarpayati adhikarinam apekshitam iti siddham. So from all this what we understand that this after the sadhana satushtaya sampatti only, you do Brahma Jinyasa. So the Atha Shabdartha. Atha Shabdartha has the meaning of thereafter, Anantarya Artha. And that after what, when you ask, we have to say sadhana satushtaya sampatti anantaram, like that. And that Atha Shabdaha, and it ends what? Actually, it points to the qualifications. Correct? And the one who is qualified. So, Adhikarinam Apekshitam. Iti. So, the, uh, the Atashabdaha, when we say thereafter, it depends on the one who is qualified. Because the one who is qualified alone can actually have this desire to know Brahman. This is established and the qualification is Sadhana Chatushtaya Sampatti. So, now the next topic is Anubandha Chatushtaya Nirupanam. This we'll take it up in the next class. Om Pur Namada Pur Namidam Pur Nath Pur Namudachyate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Nameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Arihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Arihi Om Dhaniwara Guruji.